Hey everyone, Chris Linsell here, senior real estate writer and coach for TheClothes.com, coming at you today with a video walkthrough of the real estate CRM Chime. I want to show you what it's like to use Chime for your real estate business, share some of my favorite features, and at the end of this video, I'm going to give you my recommendation as to whether or not you should consider Chime. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Okay, so if you're a real estate agent, you know that there are a ton of real estate CRM options out there. I've personally spent time on dozens of platforms looking for power-ups for our closed readers and YouTube watchers, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of slept on Chime for a while, but they've made some serious upgrades to their platform, and they're not just a real estate CRM any longer either. They've also uh, started to offer IDX-enabled real estate websites and lead generation options, making them less of a CRM and more of, dare I say it, an all-in-one platform. Or at least, that's the idea. I think it's safe to say Chime wants to be the operating system of your real estate business, which is a really lofty goal. So let's take a look at whether or not their CRM is up to the task. Remember, if you like this sort of video, make sure to hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel. The Close is continuing to deliver fantastic real estate content here every week on our YouTube channel and over on theclose.com. The best way to stay in the loop on all of that is to subscribe. Okay, let's dig in. Welcome to Chime. When you first log in to Chime, you land here on the dashboard. Chime isn't breaking any molds here. This is a pretty typical CRM dashboard. You've got top of the line basic stats, you know, the things you want to look at while you're while you're sipping your morning coffee. Think about the Chime dashboard as as your launch pad here. It's got a summary of your performance, it's got a sneak peek into your tasks for the day, tons of helpful daily reminders. I think that this dashboard works. I mean, it's it's easy to use, it's thoughtful. Um, but, you know, if I had anything to say about it, I would say, you know, it's there aren't really any customization options. I can't really move anything around or delete them entirely from view, which is a little frustrating. I'm also not a huge fan of the fact that there are these de facto banner ads right here on the dashboard for other Chime products and for their learning center. I mean, I get it. They want to make sure that their users are getting the full benefit of what Chime has to offer, but this... This isn't really for me. I, I understand. This is pretty nitpicky, um, but it's something I'd probably change. Relatively minor, though. Overall, the Chime dashboard, passing grade for me. Let's take a look at the components of the Chime CRM. The first navigation along the top here looks like it's for contacts. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like Chime calls these leads. Yep, I like this. Lots of ways that you can... Um, sort through all your leads. Looks like I can create some custom filters over here. This is really cool. You know, I'm always surprised by CRM products that don't offer this kind of multi-dimensional filtering and searching when it comes to my contacts. I mean, I want to be able to drill down into my database. It's shocking how many platforms don't allow you to do that, and Chime is doing a good job on this here. Let's get a little deeper. Let's get into a contact profile. Okay, so interesting. It looks like all the contact information is over here on the left, uh, and then we have activities and engagement, uh, and on here, uh, right here in the middle, and then, and then, okay, yeah, appointments and tasks over here on the right. Boy, there is a lot going on here. I almost feel like I'm having options-induced ADD because I'm just not quite sure where to look. Um, honestly, I think... I'd rather there always be more information than less, so I'm not hating on this, okay? You know, other platforms offer more streamlined views, like uh, LionDesk, for instance, is maybe a little bit easier on the eye, but LionDesk also doesn't provide this level of analysis either, so it's really a trade-off based on what's important to you. Let's look at some other features. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, here's the pipeline and transaction management stuff. This feels a lot like 
the project management tool Trello to me. So if you're a Trello user, you're gonna feel at home here. Um, there's also some cool customization options uh, to, to make it your own experience uh, for your business, uh, which I really like. That's obviously very important when it comes to uh, pipeline and transaction management. Every market, every business is a little bit different. Um, this feels like a pretty simple and straightforward tool, but I'm gonna be honest with you, again, just like that search functionality I was talking about, a lot of platforms miss on this, and Chime is doing it well here. I like Chime's approach. This transaction management, this gets an A for me. I like this. Okay, uh, next uh, is uh, the area for tasks. Now, from the looks of it, it looks like Chime's just... Wow, okay, yeah, they're putting a lot of emphasis here. It makes me, um, makes me feel like uh, this would be really important if you're managing a team. Um, this view seems like it is basically aggregating all the tasks that we were seeing in the individual profiles. Um, I like the sorting functions. Again, that's a, that's a highlight for me with Chime. Here's the thing, though. I feel like as a full-time agent, I'm not spending a ton of time on this screen. You know, maybe my assistant uh, would, or maybe if I have an office manager, they're spending a lot of time here to see what everyone's got going on. But as a full-time agent, or even as a team leader, this might be a little overwhelming for me. I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't want it to exist. I'm just saying this might not get a ton of my day. But I'm glad it's here. Again, great to have sortable, sortable data, great to have um, the ability to prioritize and look at things on the long view. Okay, next we've got campaigns. Uh, this is a cool spot. I can dig into paid marketing efforts that I've got running. Um, I like this, uh, you know, I like this a lot because this kind of feels like a little dashboard to me. Chime is really wowing me in providing these sort of at-a-glance analytics. I really like this. This is a selling point for me. Um, you know, speaking of analytics, let's actually check out the analytics tab. Uh, okay, yeah, numbers... We get here, yeah, tons of stuff. Wow, and it's really sortable, it's really flexible. This is what a real team manager needs right here. And I gotta say, um, you know, I don't make this claim very often, but this might be the best analytics suite of any CRM that I've ever reviewed. This feels more like Google Analytics, frankly. Guys, I'm, I'm here for it. The only thing that looks like it is missing from this analytics area is a reports download function. Maybe that exists and, and it's hidden somewhere. That doesn't make a ton of sense. I, I'm, I'm guessing that it's just not available. And I, I mean, I get it. Chime wants you to stay on platform and it looks like I can click back and get historical data for as long back as, I'm, as I've used the platform. Um, so Chime might just figure why offer a download, but you know, if you're like me, if you love data and you're always collecting it, you're probably collecting it from lots of different sources. And if you wanted to bring all that together in some sort of like master business analysis, I'm not sure that the Chime data suite is providing me that opportunity to download a report. Um, so that's a little inconvenient, but you know, that's a pretty small thing relative to all of the, all the cool stuff we got happening here. Uh, there were a couple other tabs up here. I don't want you guys to think I forgot about them. Uh, this is an activities tab, but since I'm on a demo account here, I don't really have anything to, to show in here. So uh, nothing really of note. Uh, this one is the content management system for your Chime website, which, uh, by the way, this is a really cool setup. You know, we don't have time to go into all the website stuff today, but I think it's worth mentioning that pairing... Uh, your Chime CRM with a Chime website is a major level up. You know, not all CRMs offer that. In fact, the, not, not most CRMs offer that. And honestly, it goes a long way towards justifying the price tag of Chime, which is high relative some, uh, to some other CRMs on the market. Um, you know, being able to pair these two things together, having leads that are coming to your website and filling out forms and automatically getting populated into your CRM and you're getting to level up their experience via that, uh, that seamless transition, I mean, that is, that's a game changer. So if you're looking uh, at Chime as a CRM, 
I highly suggest you use them for your website too. Okay, we got two more tabs here. Uh, settings, which is pretty much what you'd expect. Uh, and then we've got Marketplace. Now, for those of you who watch this channel regularly, you know that I recently uh, did a review and a video of Playster Marketplace, which is very cool, but it's very different than what we've got here. On Chime Marketplace, you basically got two categories okay, of, of uh, services. The first category is Chime product and services, like their lead generation options, uh, website upgrades, CRM upgrades, you know, things like their power dialer and their AI assistant and uh, more. Obviously, you can see there's there's more. And then down below in the second category, we've got what I think most CRMs would just call integrations. Um, things, you know, optional services from companies like MailChimp or BombBomb or uh, Dippity. Um, so we've got them all together here. My take on this is... I love that Chime offers built-in upgrade options that are really easy to access uh, via this, this marketplace. Things like lead generation power-ups uh, and, and power-ups for your CRM. Um, it's really great that those are accessible right in the platform and it makes it pretty seamless. If you want to power up there, you can, you can go through some clicks and you get rolling on that. It doesn't become this big long process. Um, I don't think that their third-party services are necessarily any different than the integrations that other CRMs offer. But I actually, again, I really like how they're presented here. They're sorted by category, which is surprisingly helpful for me. Uh, you know, someone someone who, you know, if I'm kind of a seek and destroy kind of person, I'm just looking for the category I want. I don't want to have to sort through a hundred different things. So it's pretty easy to see how uh, this would upgrade your Chime experience. Um, overall, really solid review of this section. Uh, it seems kind of kind of silly, but I mean, this hits the mark. Okay. Okay, and you know that's that's it. That's the whole that's the whole uh, kind of snapshot in a nutshell. So, what are my overall impressions of Chime? Well, I think that this is a really solid real estate CRM. It's got a ton of features that will help real estate agents level up their business. I'm really impressed with their analytics. Um, I'm really impressed with their team management options, with their lead routing, with the add-ons that they offer. I mean, if you've got the budget for Chime, especially if you're running a team or a brokerage, I mean, this product feels like something you should absolutely consider. If you're a solo agent, Chime is still an option for you. Um, I feel like a lot of the uh, the the real features, the real power features of this platform are geared more towards people who are, are running a bigger business. But, you know, a solo agent can have a big business too, especially if you're managing like uh, inside sales agents, marketing people, if you've got a transaction coordinator, if you've got an office manager, you've got a team, even if you're the only licensed person on it. So, um, it's not a disqualifier for you if you're a solo agent here, but I think... The real uh, shine point for Chime is going to be for uh, teams with multiple licensed agents or for brokerages. Is it perfect? No. I mean, I don't think this. I don't think any platform is perfect, frankly. But here's a couple of things that I think might be pain points on Chime. First of all, there's a lot happening here, okay? There were times that I was looking at the screen as I was prepping for this uh, that I was actually feeling a little overwhelmed. Like, I'm just not sure where to look first. And the fact that I can't really customize the dashboard to the level that I want feels a little bit like a swing and a miss. So, given how much detail you can actually get with Chime, it would be really great to be able to choose what I want to see where. That being said, okay? That, that, getting that out there, guys, I think that the positives way outweigh the drawbacks on Chime, okay? You should definitely consider Chime if you're shopping for a real estate CRM. Well, that's it. Yeah, I, I, I think this is a good one to go with. I think you should consider it. You should at least get a demo. Uh, the folks over at Chime, they provided me with a demo account. It was really great to be able to uh, explore it a little bit on my own, but I had a uh, personalized walkthrough from one of their product experts that would be really helpful for you too. So go check them out if you're shopping for a real estate CRM. 
And uh, that's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, if you liked this video, give it a like, okay? Make sure to subscribe to the channel too. It really helps out the channel. It helps us get uh, in front of you with uh, great real estate content every single week. And I'd love to hear what you think about Chime. So drop me a comment below. I answer every single comment. I wanna hear from you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one, everyone.